Thank you and welcome to the August 31st and September 1st, uh, whatever this is, <laughs> chaos metrics model, that's, that's all I had, the chaos metrics model meeting. Um, so please add your name, maybe tell us how you're doing, tell us if you went for a swim today, anything like that. We'll go ahead and get started. So I, you can see in the minutes, I'll share, can you make me co-host Elizabeth? You sure? Oh, I that work? yes, that works. Yes, it, it just takes a little while, I think. Um, so, hi, Salona. Hi. Um, hi. Can somebody drop the minutes back in for Salona as well? All right, so I went ahead and, you know, one of the things I think that came out of the last meeting was perhaps it's a good idea to start with the development of some metrics models and then kind of start locating those metrics models as opposed to thinking about how we might make metrics models and then spending a lot of time on that and then kind of over defining it um, and not having much luck in making the model. So what I did was I, I have the, the model that really started all of this that is down here below the community development um, metric model. And then I also went ahead and I built a metrics model for the Chaos DEI um, event badging program. So this is a program that exists right now that brings together the metrics of event demographics, code of conduct at an event and, and the rest down there. So I tried to model the top one kind of against what we had here. If you remember our, our spreadsheet. So I had the Chaos DEI event badging just a really short overview of why we care, the actual metrics that would be in this metrics model. And then I'm not quite sure what we put here with respect to a link to a metrics model. So um, people's first reaction to this, I thought I'd get this going before we arrived here. Too much, too little, not enough info in a model like this. Hi, Lucas. Hey, Matt. What are people's in initial reactions to this? Silence. <laughs> Reading, thinking. Reading and thinking is good. So Lucas, we're just, this is a, a, um, a program that already exists in the chaos project. This is, it's quite successful in terms of badging events mm -hmm. for their attention to these things. So part of what we came up with last week was perhaps a, the better approach for, to the metrics model is really just to kind of define how metrics are brought together already, you know, as opposed to, and then we'll, then we'll worry about like what we call them, how we market them, how we present them to people, but let's just first capture what we know already goes together. What are people's thoughts on this? And I have questions down below that can kind of structure this as well. Maybe um, we can also add a time inclusion for water events. Yes, exactly. So when we release mm, version, this was just based on the existing version. Mm. There's like a badging program version two. And I think Matt Snell is gonna be releasing version three of the badging program shortly here. And you're correct that I will be adding a few more metrics to this. And in this case, unlike what was put together down here, there's really no order to these, right? I mean, each one of them kind of sits in isolation. You know, you don't go from event demographics to code of conduct to diversity access tickets. So they are, they are simply alone, but this is just a way to bring those metrics together that's meaningful. Lucas, were you gonna say something too? Um, so so um, in, in this project, um, I think that the, the, like the idea of how the group is gonna work 
um, is still being formed collaboratively. Mm -hmm. And so um, I don't want to jump the gun. I think it takes patience at first. Uh, and, mm -hmm. I, and I appreciate that kind of spirit of, of community that, um, that you and, and everybody else is kind of listening patiently and discovering the purpose and the structure. Um, and so um, what I find about uh, this, um, this um, kind of construction that I like is the way that it ties together the purpose and the components um, and surfaces the purpose. Um, and um, speaking as a, as a product manager, um, I can see the product management um, benefits of this approach. Um, and um, <clears throat> my question is how this relates to the application working group and what is distinct about what we're doing here. Oh, the app ecosystem? Yes, thank group. you. Yes. So the, let's see, I have to go back into my Wayback Machine of a week ago <laughs> when we talked about the app ecosystem working group and really what they were doing and Kevin or Vinod or Yehoi remind me of our conversation, but what they're doing is they're, they're talking about a, a potential scenario where, where metrics might be valuable, okay? And the metrics are not even currently defined in this scenario. So um, let's see the one, here's the app ecosystem. Here, let me pull this up. Yep, that is correct. They, they define the scenario of uh, whether metrics are existing or not, even they need to not. develop it is. That was not defined. So I was thinking about um, I was thinking about an application of of this group along these lines, and I and I had an idea for kind of a um, example metric that doesn't exist yet, and I'll just put it out there as maybe something that would be helpful in crafting um, what we're doing as a real world example, and that idea is a metric for contributions. Um, for open source projects. So, um, you know, it's standard to acknowledge contributions. Uh, oh. And, um, but it's a, it's a subtle thing. It can be a little hard to know how to do that uh, and what to acknowledge and how to measure and whether it's all manual and how you keep up at scale and so on. And um, I think that acknowledgements are a form of metric. Um, and so I put that out there as a potentially useful um, example metric um, for applying this workflow we're developing here. Was it right the first time? Um, was that the, we don't have a metric, we do have a metric on contributions just to, to note, but I don't think we have one on acknowledgement of those contributions. So uh, we, we do have a contribution attribution metric uh, in value that I believe is going under review. Can you add it in here, Kevin? Is, uh, just a second. Okay. So Thank Lucas, you. to your first question, what we're doing is we're taking existing metrics that have been released by the chaos project Mm -hmm. and bringing them together. So of the 50 or 60 that exist, over 60 that exist at the moment, how are those being brought together in ways that are meaningful? The app ecosystem is here, we'll do this goal of say retaining and attracting contributors and there may or may not be metrics that exist in the chaos project. So they're just, they're a little bit more um, broad brushed than we are. So we're, we're really trying to think about the existing set of metrics and the same here. I know this doesn't look good on the screen, but the workflow, the community development metric model, each one of these things in here, each one of the rows is an existing metric from the chaos project. That is an important distinction to draw. And I do find it, it helpful. And thank you for that. Yeah, that's, that's, 
And it was, it's funny you ask that because we didn't even know the distinction <laughs> until we did a little <laughs> digging ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Because if, for a while we thought if they're doing something similar, then it doesn't make a ton of sense to, to reinvent the process wheel, so to speak. You know what I mean? If they're already working in this regard, then we don't need to reinvent the way that they work. We can just borrow that, but we are working a little bit differently, I think. So, so the, what I'm trying to do here, and I think the community development flow, this metric model down here and the DEI badging um, metric model, they're certainly not perfect by any means. I was just trying to like get them out there as, as food for thought. I think it's easy to talk, easier to talk around things that we can visualize. And so I had a series of questions um, that, that I think might be useful. And, and Lucas, you said you liked the presentation of them, or at least the top one, just kind of help you locate yourself. But you know, what information should these models present? Should we kind of err? I intentionally erred on the side of simplicity in this one. Like, why do you care? What are the metrics? That's it. There's, there's really nothing else in there. Um, we could probably add some additional components here, like how the metric is actually deployed in this DEI event badging program, because there's some subtleties there, you know, like how we deploy questions around event demographics, how we apply questions around code of conduct in an event, right? There's some, there's some layers below just saying here are the metrics to use, but is it good enough just to locate people and say, if you care about this thing, whatever this thing is, here's some metrics to put on your radar, you know? So that was kind of that second question. Maybe it should be the first question. So what information should these present? So at Merico, we had to do a, a comparable exercise and um, we basically reviewed everything chaos had done with an eye towards a specific use case. And it, it took a little, a little doing, like I had to read every single page on the website pretty much. And oh. like, like by the end of it, like my eyes were kind of swimming with text. There was just so yeah. much. Um, and, and what I took out of it was, you know, seven or eight things that belong together. Um, and that was a significant barrier to taking advantage of, um, of all the work and research and thought mm -hmm. that Chaos has put in. So um, I do see the utility of this and the potential to increase adoption of the metrics yep. and just the benefit to users of having condensed models. Okay. So, so two, two questions. One, can I have your use case that you made at Miracle? <laughs> <laughs> Because I mean, so, I'd love to see what you drew, drew together. Uh, so to the, oh, sorry. No, go ahead, Ken. I was just going to uh, partially answer or add a little more depth to the question as well. So the difference, the difference between what we are doing here and what the app ecosystem group is doing, and I'll use uh, I'll use Sean's words, uh, is that uh, the app ecosystem is taking a uh, a uh, a top-down approach, and uh, we are taking kind of the a bottoms-up approach. So the, the work that the app ecosystem is doing is actually very similar to our working groups. They're they're using the uh, the the goal question. Uh, what is that? The the goal question metric sure. model. Mm -hmm. So they're they're actually using that metric. So the work that they're doing is very much identifying metrics that need to that. Uh, that can be defined uh, and they're starting with kind of a a bit of a, a use case and then metrics that aren't defined that would fit into that use case and uh, our step is is the opposite we are taking metrics that have already been defined and we're trying to organize them into into models that are helpful to uh, people that might consume the metrics so So, yes, okay. so the initial idea, so the initial idea from the metrics model is that I found so many good metrics existing in yeah. our chaos community, and and it's so many that yes. so I can I cannot organize them into together. So I have to figure out how to use them in my real case. So 
uh, you know, we have uh, some communities running already. Uh, some manager asked me, okay, we wanna uh, to mirror our community's health status. You have to find some metrics useful for us. So based on these those requirements, I put put some metrics together for some for some specific purpose to doing so. So I agree with uh, Kevin that we we may use this existing metrics to do some some specific purpose working. One um, straightforward application of the work of this group could be um, to improve usability of the website. There could be a, a new page that um, documents each of the models that we identify. Uh, yes, definitely. Plus, plus 22 to that. It's, uh, uh, that's, the, that's really one of my, my primary goals is to find better ways to uh, present and organize the metrics on the website. I think that's the, for me, the, the website is, is that, that frontline place where this belongs, right? Because we are, we are talking about how people consume the metrics. So this is where they, this is the first place they might go to actually consume the metrics. Uh, yeah. So, and we do have some, we do have some prototype uh, pages that we've started to build there. Uh, basically uh, navigation that would allow us to sort the metrics into different kind of buckets. Uh, Cause right now they're just on the website. They're just sorted by uh, working groups. Yeah. What, I, what I recall uh, previously it came up, I think King shared an image of a visualization of all the metrics. I don't, to have access to that image, but I recall that image was shown in the community meeting, how to visualize all the metrics. So maybe we can have that visual and think of those scenarios, looking at the visual will be helpful. Uh, maybe if somebody can find that met, uh, image or. Yeah, I think that's a little different here. So this is, that was all the existing metrics by focus area. This would be like showing, it would basically be like on the page, it would be a drop down that would say, show me the metrics that are part of the KSDEI event badging. And it would filter yeah. all, everything else out. So what I was proposing, yes, I totally agree with you, but what I was proposing, having that image in front of us by all these uh, metrics, like uh, visually, we can think of, okay, looking at those metrics, what scenarios we can think of, and then we can add, uh, like you have jotted down some scenarios. Maybe we look at the visual representation of all the metrics and some scenarios can be, can come up from, by looking at that entire visual. Sure. Uh, um, okay. I don't know where that is. <laughs> That visual that you're talking about. That was a long time ago. So yes, you can track it down. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll try to find it out and maybe then I'll share it in the doc. Okay. Um. So I to your point, Lucas. Um, I also completely agree at the way that Kevin agreed that improving access and yoi like like we still have to define the metrics and have that markdown page. Like we still have to have that definition, that detailed definition of what the metric is. Um, but right now, to your point, we're like giving that entire dense definition of all 60 metrics to somebody that comes to the page. We're like, here, here's everything. Here are all the definitions. They're all this pretty big markdown file. And in doing this. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, I, I think the metrics model may can looks like the site map. Uh, you can need yeah. the uh, yeah uh, students or the contributors to how to uh, how to learn about uh, the metrics uh, from some uh, sequences. So a uh, so so we should try to uh, make some uh, maybe some process of our uh, uh, community works uh, like the, so we, 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 we present the development modes and then we should we can 
uh, present uh, uh, governance mode or uh, mm -hmm. something like the uh, okay. yeah operation mode. So so yeah. that's uh, that's that's the courses about how to uh, perform a performance in the uh, uh, community. Like you, maybe you are the manager of the community or the development uh, roles in the community or the uh, something like the leaders or they, they can find some way to learn the metrics from the different process. So okay. I think that's the way they use. Yeah. Um. Um, so then I'm starting to think on two fronts. One is, um, at some point, uh, there's, there are the metrics models. <laughs> there are these things. There are these visuals like this, and there's these visuals like this, and there's the visuals like what Lucas was talking about in Pet Merico. There's the visuals that Sean has talked about in working with uh, with folks in the community, how he draws metrics together. So there are those things. The, and I think we can capture those and probably probably categorize them in some form or fashion to Clement's point in these different focus areas. My, my guess is that we can, we can do that. Um, the other part that I, I don't know if, if this is what you were saying, Clement, but I, this is what I heard when I heard you talking is there then has to be a process kind of like how we release metrics by which we release metrics models and get them onto the web page to help improve access for people. Does this? Yeah. Like, we, we do two things, right? So, um, so I want to I want to propose something like a uh, MVP for this project. Yeah. Um, and um, you know, this is intended just to give us something to work towards that's small and shippable and useful. Right. Uh, and um, I. I um, I am envisioning a page titled how to or recipes. So this is kind of a, a standard component in uh, documentation. Um, and um, it would contain as an MVP three models, only three. Uh, and each of the models would be roughly the same size as what you defined already, or at least that's kind of the starting point. Okay. And for the purposes of um, information architecture, those would link back to the to their sources, um, and that would kind of get to the sitemap um, component. And when you say sources, I assume you mean metrics. Yes, that's right. Um, so their formal definitions. Yep. Um, so so real real quick, I I shared. Uh, we have three or four prototypes, but I shared hold just on. a can couple you, links to the website. Can you let Lucas finish this that first? Yep. Sorry. Um, well, so I think I think we're probably I think you probably jumped in because we're go both going in so much the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I uh, I completely agree with what you're saying. Uh, yeah. I think we're exactly on the same page. Yeah. Like, then, like, we need to come up with that page, figure out what's the basic template, where does it fit into the information architecture, and then go. What, what are your thoughts? So, uh, the in the links I I showed you, the the prototype isn't really the 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 tables or the like the DNI badging or the community metrics that are there. The, the prototype is more about how we filter the metrics. So there's a, basically there's a, there's a button that would allow us to change the way the metrics are presented. So we can, we can pull up these, you know, the, the full metrics released by working group is the default. That's how we do the release. And then we can filter them into uh, 
metrics that belong to this event badging, which would be this. So this would be where the the models or the the recipes, so to speak, would go. Uh, and then each of the and then we would still link out to those those metrics pages, so you could, you know, dig into what attendee demographics actually is. Uh, but so that that's kind of how I envision it. It would be something like this, and the models would be right here, and we could filter through the different models and the different ways of presenting these and organizing these metrics. Are you picturing them in in these pages, or is there a standalone page with just models? Uh, each see. model each model would have its own page, so the uh, the filtering navigation would actually. Uh, uh, it's a sub navigation that would take you to di the different model pages. Yeah, I think uh, the standalone page is, uh, is needed because maybe uh, the users of this metrics will be confused by its focus area and <laughs> metrics modes where we should uh, offer some different pages for it. Or maybe we can just call them metrics model or something. And also, we can call, we can add some gra graphics or, or, or pictures yeah. for the for this. Yeah, we could just include otherwise. almost like the pictures that we have in the minutes. Like here's the yeah. picture, and here's the links to the things that are in the yeah. picture. Yeah, I want I want to stress that these prototypes are really primarily based on how we would filter. So the 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 tables that are there aren't really that's not the prototype. The like how we would filter. How we would filter the metrics and move between metrics uh, on our release page. That's the the prototype is just how we would filter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and also I mean the visualization is over everything. I mean if we can show the metrics come up with the visualization. I mean putting as a flow or or precise. Uh, I mean users or, or visitors could uh, quickly understand what you are talking about about this metrics model. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kevin, Kevin, how old are, are these? <laughs> these, are, these are like oh. in line with kind of what we're talking about here. I mean, they're not like- I made, I made those like a year ago, maybe. A, I, I mean, I, I keep on telling you, I've been talking about this for a while. All right. okay. <laughs> like no, no one believes me. <laughs> well, they're great. They, they, they're finding a home. All right. And so I think these are actually these, right? These That's the one of... Vinod had mentioned earlier, the, that, the image. Yeah. Did that just pop in? Yes, uh, I just posted the image in the notes. I, I'm going to caution for a second here. This Using this to build the metrics models is not what we talked about last week. What we I talked know. about last week was trying to find existing cases and capture those. See what I'm saying? Totally agree. This was just a help as a like, when I have a scenario, can I see a handy list that I can see the metrics are already there that can help me? Okay. This is just, just a helping hand uh, if I have a scenario, for example, D and I, what metrics I can see quickly see in the list that I can pick and uh, add it to the model I'm discussing or thinking. Sure, gotcha. Um, okay. So I, I agree that that image is, is out of the scope of what we're doing now, but I would add that in, I would love to have something like this in the future that was maybe clickable, uh, mm -hmm. but it's, that's down the line for me. Maybe there is a, um, a, a kind of reduced summarized version of this that um, can fit gracefully into the new visualization, um, whatever that will be. And what I'm visualizing is you know, what, what Matt put together to start this all off. All right, this is great. So, so Lucas, are you, let me ask a question here too. Not, don't worry about like what's down here. You know what I mean? Can you see my screen? Yes. Don't worry about what's down here. But like up here, do you see this as being like a new top level link that says like metrics models or recipes or whatever it ends up saying? Or do you see it like part of here? Can 
you not have a thought? Um, well, I'm, I'm hunting for the standard documentation um, shape. Like most, most technical documentation follows this shape of there's a tutorial, there's a reference, and there's a how-to. Uh, and um, so that's why I was taking my, my time to answer is that okay. this is so much deeper. And so, um, yeah. I actually, I might uh, reference it in the, in the homepage um, uh, above the banner because it's kind of for people who are on their first day. Probably so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like that. Okay, so like, don't worry, this is not set in stone, but something, something kind of upfront that brings people to these models. Um, with the intention of kind of keeping them away from this, <laughs> right? Like this is an important page, but this is probably not the first page that people need to see. And so in doing so, to your point then, Lucas and Kevin, as you were both, I think, on the same page, we provide something that looks actually a little like this, right? That, I mean, it's, I don't know quite how we, Kevin, maybe you could think about this, but like, you know, if they click a link that takes them to the metrics model top page, like how we present, is it just a filter at the top? Is it, I think Clement was talking about like showing the different focus areas without calling them focus areas. I think we, um, yeah. I think we'd have a, we'd want to, we would want to call out on the front page, on the home page as well, just a, a section on the front page that specifically calls out to these metric models. Okay. Uh, and then maybe there's a, maybe there's a landing page where it's metrics for community managers, metrics for some sort of activity where we, then we, we filter we filter from there. Okay. And then they kind of end up at a page kind of like this, but to Yehoi's point that we still maintain the imagery. So like if... Yeah. Maybe I have another idea. I just send the link. You this is the have all the ideas you want. Where's your link? <laughs> uh, send it on the chat. Send it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. This graph gallery. Yeah. This is the district com library. It's, uh, it, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they are using this com library to generalize the, the different kind of visualizations. So you can say that this is the different scenarios and uh, you can you can think of that a lot of people to choose oh, like which scenario can fit, that, fit your like requirement. And so instead of distribution, would yeah. that like say operations? Yeah, yeah. And then instead of correlation, it would say governance. Mm -hmm. I like that. I love that. This is great. Kevin, do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then uh, dr drop a link. Drop a link to this into the the documentation. I so will. I have an example. I I like the uh, I like the design of this page as well. So it's very. Uh, very clean. So each small image will be representing a separate metric in that scenario because first is metric model and then list of different metrics and each image for the different metric. Well, we have model we have model focus areas. So the, the model focus areas are governance, uh, yeah, okay. operations, development. So the, the images would align with those focus areas right there. I think the focus areas is that would be this, yeah, this, yeah, that, and then these would be the models. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I got it. Thank you. Thank you for clarity. I like that, Lucas. Do you have comments? Um, I I totally agree with this direction. Uh, I'm going to post a link to another comp. 
um, that has a similar purpose and kind of information architecture um, challenge. <laughs> is, it, is it a design thing? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. You just put it in the chat. Yeah. Okay. So this has a hierarchy. Um, like there's multi-party payments and that has a subsection okay. of sub specific items. So like these would be the focus areas, I'm guessing. Yeah. And then you would click and it would show you the different metrics models. Or, or maybe um, you'd get to that by scrolling. Okay. Uh, okay. This is great. I was, I was just on this page earlier today. Mm -hmm. By chance, how is that possible? Out of all the pages on the internet. Uh, be, uh, Stripe is what we're gonna use for the uh, the swag store on the uh, website. Is? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, through through uh, WooCommerce. So. Oh, cool, okay. Um, okay, so this is great because I think where we ended up kind of going in this conversation started to get us through two things which was one, how do we actually bring these metrics models forward, whatever they might be. I think we already kind of have a way that we can organize them, which is pretty cool. We have to define them, but this is, the conversation today has been about how we bring them forward. And I think as always, there have been some really, really good ideas. Um, Kevin, I think as our resident website person, you're gonna need to, maybe think about or, or talk out loud and we can talk with you. Um, like how, how if, if I produce a new metrics model, like how do I process wise get that to you? The way that we get metrics to you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not sure what the answer is, so. Well, I, I don't think we have a, we don't have a way of even approving metrics models yet. So I think the, the first way is to, to maybe think about how we create the metrics models and approve them uh, within this working group. And I'm, and I'm not, I don't think we need to go through a community review process the same way that we, we do with the, the metrics. I think this is a little more uh, informal. I could be wrong. Okay. Uh Having a community feedback will be helpful in that regard. But with the metrics release, we do we do versions, right? So we we have these these snapshots in time where these are our these are all of our metrics releases. I I don't think we need to be on a uh, uh, A model like that. I think we could be a little more informal on how we release these models. Right? We, we could still do some sort of community review or, or share them before they go to the website, but I don't, uh, I don't think we have to have a release cadence and I don't think we need to version them the way we version metrics. And also I agree with Kevin that we, maybe we can, we, maybe we can, even the, there's two metrics models, they just have slightly different, but they do have two different scenarios. We can put them into the metrics model to, just to make it flexible. Mm -hmm. I mean, this yeah, idea just... also come, come, comes from D3 com libraries. A lot of com, uh, virtualizations, they are, they, are, they, are, they are most the same, but they just uh, gave me your different thinking about metrics about the metrics, putting them together. So what do people think about, um, oh, sorry. Um, what do people think about just starting by going after Lucas's MVP. Like, like, who cares about the process at the moment? Who cares that, like, how correct or perfect these things are? You know what I mean? But just kind of, yeah, go ahead. 
I was I was going to say maybe we can just think about these as, as prototypes or yeah. uh, yeah. experiments, right? And just kind of I go can, and see what happens. Yeah, I can prepare two, one or two matrix model prototype, mm. and uh, draw some pictures or 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 flow chart for that, and also add link for each matrix model. I'll do the same. I can kind of build one out a little bit better with links for this. And then I'll also connect with Sean because I know that he has a couple that he's been yeah. working on. But but Lucas, do we have to keep, I mean, anchor it at just, just the three models? Maybe we can have five models or six more. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, meant, I meant three as like, okay. Um, the, the okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Can we, yeah, can ahead. we build, can we say that we need to build these in Markdown or do we just want to say build them however you want? I don't know how to build a model in Markdown. Uh, it would probably be embedded images and text. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So um, what do you think, Kevin, in which format we should provide Markdown or some other? Because I'm, I'm I, certainly open, I'm certainly open to trying other if we want, if we want to, uh, but we will have to. We probably need to have kind of a a standard way of, not like the form that the models would take, but a uh, uh, some sort of standard document type that we can use so that we have some consistency in how we're presenting them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have to I be said... marked down. If you want something else, uh, we can certainly do something else. Okay. Me, I'm okay. Yehoi, if you're okay with Markdown, I mean, we could just have a couple yeah. just really, like, really easy headers that we could just kind of like name. We'd have a name. We just have like why this matters, you know, who might care. We could have just a few subheadings and maybe I could issue just a PR to build the template out and mm -hmm. just, you could just take a look at it. And if you're okay with that, we could just merge that template in and just kind of work off that for the next. Okay two weeks is that okay for you yeah okay if, if markdown I, I, oh no go ahead and also yeah and also how to draw the picture i just sent the link i i, I remember i sent the, this link before and this is uh, this link to help us to draw different kind of the, the pictures or visualizations like demo and uh, and just similar like a whistle but it's open source you can uh, export this as a different format, like SVG and any other format. You, I think it's easy to put it into the Markdown uh, files. What was the tool that you were suggesting? Yeah, I just sent the link on the chat. Okay. It's it's an online editor and also you can install it uh, as an application. Yeah. Computer. Is that the um, app.diagrams.net? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've used that. I like it. Used, it's used to be called add draw IO. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So you you're suggesting that you and I both build our metrics models using this. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean when, okay. I, when we yeah. create these pictures, we okay. can use this stuff. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and then maybe um, Yehoi, you, you and I can bring a couple of those to the meeting in, a, in two weeks. And then and Kevin, if, I mean, if, if we can get them done, maybe you can kind of like peek at them prior and see how they might look on that, on the pages that you have. I don't have it up right now, but the one, oh yeah, this one, you know what I mean? Just, they can be super rough. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can definitely use those pages to to prototype these, and I'll uh, I may maybe create a few different prototypes on how we can display them from the uh, the home page as well. Okay. Uh, okay, that sounds good. Well, Yehoi, I'll do that. I'll make the template tomorrow. So just look for look for that. Yeah. Okay. I'll follow your progress. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Jeez. This is like the most productive working group <laughs> in the world. <laughs> so, damn, right to code. 
Jeez, Louise. So I mean, we got a lot of we got we have we're putting pressure on ourselves to have every meeting be this productive. So <laughs> that's, that's a bar high. Um, great. So I think this is this is good. I think we kind of have some action items between all of us. I don't think you know. Does anybody have any questions as to kind of what what we're doing and and how to to move forward? I don't have a question. I just have a comment that uh, we are moving to a bi-weekly format. So no meeting next week, just for anyone who had not heard that news. Okay. Thanks for that. Yep. Just give, give us time to prepare everything ready. Huh? You got it. Yep. So give us a couple of weeks to get these done. All right, everybody. Cool. It's great to see you. Have a wonderful go, day. Go, go swimming. Oh, go swimming. Go swimming. <laughs> 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 have a good swim <laughs> 2,000 meters 3,000 meters today <laughs> no it's too long just one solid meter <laughs> have a good swim and take care everybody we'll see you soon see you bye bye bye, bye. bye. bye.